Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The topic of XRP will be discussed. Also, I'll explain in a second, but I'd want to begin with this as I've been thinking about it for some time. The UB reprogram serves this purpose. Financial services and other societal domains, such as property and healthcare, stand to gain from the solutions we're promoting. Encourages student participation through the University Blockchain Research Initiative. Anywhere Ripple has a payment license, or perhaps when conventional regulations in that field are clarified, crypto finds a better way forward. As we may see here, Ripple quickly begins collaborating with local universities. UB Re's 10 European university partners are expanding their blockchain teaching and research initiatives with new additions such as Trinity College Dublin, University of Trento, and APTA IE Madrid. Colleges and colleges wouldn't even consider include crypto or blockchain in their curricula if they didn't think these technologies would change the world. This is true even in America. I brought attention to the fact that Harvard was incorporating XRP and XLM into their curriculum last year and the year prior. It would never be taught in a classroom unless it was relevant to the future. The technology of tomorrow is in your possession when you have XRP. We are planning for the future, and the majority of our students will work as developers in fields like blockchain, Web3, and gaming. Also, it's beginning to change at a rapid rate right now. Holders of XRP, you should know that Bank of America will be settling with XRP. When even a single large bank begins to settle with XRP, the impact will be enormous. I indicated that all it takes to begin using RippleNet and XRP is for one bank, and that's exactly what we have. They will force all other banks to capitulate once they get an advantage. If you want to utilize Ripple and XRP, this, too, has the potential to achieve widespread use. Looking into the Grayscale Large Cap ETF Fund, which currently owns XRP, you can see that Grayscale is purchasing XRP. When it comes to the announcement of an XRP ETF, rumors suggest that Grayscale will be the first. What Goldman Sachs announces, BlackRock will announce, and the process will continue indefinitely. Currently, we are observing this situation with the Bitcoin ETFs to see if more financial institutions will follow the lead of the first ones. However, I anticipate that 2024 will witness the start of widespread use. No question in my mind XRP, the financial experts on Wall Street have predicted something huge for XRP. This is something that Linda Jones has sent. She claims that the game is still in its early stages. There is a far greater chance to digitize trade than there was to digitize communications through the internet. Next, she elaborates on the significance of the link between CBDCs and XRP and RippleNet. How Ripple is developing digital money for central banks. If you're talking about investing money at the federal level, she claims it doesn't get any bigger. The amount is in the trillions. In most cases, that is the biggest and most interesting investment opportunity that comes to mind. However, I agree with her that digitalization is still in its early stages. Also, I know I stated we're in the early stages of crypto, but the rate of digitization is accelerating. Now the rules are being enforced. New rules are being established. When it goes live in that nation, it will launch here. Out of nowhere, every other nation will start playing catch up. Now we're just a few short years away. This is occurring as you read this. Over the next 12 months, we will also begin to observe that change. Just a quick note to investors, avoid fear of missing out, FOMO, on digital assets, crypto is likely to explode in value, fear of missing out, FOMO, funds are on the way, so the SEC issues this warning. You will be paying substantially more for XRP later on, when the FOMO money comes flowing in, because we are early adopters and because we are purchasing it at a low price right now. On occasion, being early also signifies that you're fortunate to have this chance. On January 11, 2024, the parties involved in the continuing legal dispute between Ripple Labs Incorporated and a group of XRP investors headed by Laddie's Zach Canopy will be ready for a major court hearing, marking a turning point in the case. At this hearing, they will begin the class action lawsuit against Ripple. The former holders of XRP are seeking reparation. It seems like it all started when someone lost $50 or so back then. 
however, the most problematic aspect of this is just this. I'm not concerned about the case, I have faith that Ripples will win, or at the very least, that they will pay a little settlement to dismiss it. One notion put out by Maxi Plaintiff Lawyer is that he will use private email to notify 2.1 million XRP holders that he is aware that they traded XRP in 2018 and that they should all join forces to sue Ripple. Following his lead, no one should be able to own or purchase XRP. From now on, wouldn't you agree that it's best if you dropped that? Should you choose to become a party to this litigation? You know, in a year or two, these folks will think back on how much money they wasted selling off their XRP holdings. Furthermore, they might have amassed substantial wealth had they only maintained their holdings of XRP. From January 14 through the 18th, 2020, Davo, Switzerland will host the 8th annual blockchain Central Devochi. As soon as voting begins, Ripple and many others will join them in claiming that climate change is real for another year in their own planes and helicopters. The World Economic Forum is going to tell us all the right things, like how they want to run our lives for us, why we need cities that are 15 minutes away, and how fast they want to implement climate change. However, carbon credits are another initiative that they will be pursuing aggressively. Additionally, Ripple is currently moving in that way. The total amount will be in the trillions. Credit rating for the US dollar lowered by $1.3 trillion asset manager Morgan Stanley. Their stance on Friday shifted from positive to neutral. Furthermore, the international financial institution pointed out that US Treasury yields fell since the Federal Reserve started cutting interest rates. When the US dollar is being downgraded, it usually means that it is losing strength. The US currency will supposedly return stronger than before, as I mentioned repeatedly on the DX program, but others will disagree. It simply does not appear to me. Actually, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies like XRP are riding high on the perfect storm that is the dollar's declining value. A huge blow-off top may occur this year, perhaps in the autumn, just before the elections. According to Janet Yellen, the United States Treasury Secretary, the American people are content with their financial situation and optimistic about the future. She is manipulating the data on the antiquated media legacy. Concern about the economy is a top concern for 84% of Americans. Inflation and the state of the economy is the number one worry of everyone I've spoken to, including those who aren't really interested in cryptocurrency. Even as they assure you that the figures are decreasing. The trend of rising food prices continues gas prices have dropped little. Other things, though, are also on the rise. This is how I've always viewed things. For the same reason that I claimed the US dollar can keep losing its luster in the news as time goes on, consider what $20 could purchase not long ago. A lot of value is being lost. The American public is sick of hearing about it. They're sick and tired with the economy as a whole. Also, I predict that the Treasury will eventually usurp the authority of the Federal Reserve. Before a CBDC, I believe that will occur. Concerns about the regulation that states the IRS must be notified of substantial cryptocurrency transfers. This year, they also implemented this. Here we are, crypto users who are obligated to report to the IRS any trade or business transactions over $10,000. This year is going to be absolutely monumental for crypto, even the IRS knows it, according to the US International Internal Revenue Code revisions that took effect on January 1st. I believe it's obvious to everyone. These days, I even strike up conversations with non-crypto folks. And what they say is consistent every time. In my opinion, crypto will have a banner year in 2018. Even mainstream media outlets like Fox Business and CNBC are beginning to acknowledge that Bitcoin will experience huge growth this year, because to the prevalence of Bitcoin ETF news feeds. From that point on, I believe utilities will be the primary factor driving this industry. We will see if this is Bitcoin's last big run. BlackRock is reportedly laying off 3% of its workforce in anticipation of the expected approval of Bitcoin ETFs by the Secretary of State on Wednesday. They're saying that ESG is to blame. On the other hand, I see the constant layoffs at major corporations as a sign that they are trying to consolidate. I apologize. That is precisely what they are doing. 
Additionally, bank branches have been shuttering for some time. It appears as though everything is merging into a considerably smaller entity. The arrival of CBDCs is the reason, in my opinion. The extraterrestrials themselves have returned. All this talk about Epstein is new to us. The aliens had to be brought out, of course. And I think we will see more of Project Blue Beam in 2024, but I think a lot of major things are going to happen this year as we begin to go into it and as we progress through it. Not like 2022 or even 2023, when everything seemed bleak. While some businesses did nothing at all last year, others made unprecedented strides, and Ripples demonstrated its strength during that time. Hedera, too, had remarkable fortitude. A lot of this is related to cryptocurrencies, there was a lot of development and growth, but little change in pricing. In contrast to last year, when Bitcoin was all the rage, I predict that 2018 will be the year of value for all coins as investors flee Bitcoin for these newer ones. Around the same time, I predict that utility will begin to play a role in a way that no one has ever seen before. And no one has any idea how that will influence the value of XRP, XLM, and XDC. Whatever I'm telling you, it's going to be a thrilling period. However, until that occurs, you must remain patient and have an optimistic outlook. We can become wealthy as a team. That being said, I will now end this video. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.